I'd like to begin with a fact, a simple yet shocking fact. It is this. A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country in the form of newsstand obscenity and is threatening to pervert an entire generation of our American children. This advertising, this PR, this culture shifting uh, methodology is so pervasive and impossible to escape that we have no choice, that it becomes part of us, part of our brains, part of the way that we think, and we end up programmed by this manipulation. So now it's not only just, I want this thing, but now it's become a need once more. I want this thing so much, I need to have it or else I'll be unhappy. This type of propaganda is just a symptom of these underlying structures, this need for infinite growth. Those underlying structures are the same ones that are leading to our climate problems. Each day as thousands of persons visit the chain stores in their neighborhoods, their journey carries them past powerful messages advantageously placed on nearby poster panels. Society, culture, and the world at large needed to be led by what he called the invisible government. This man, nephew of Sigmund Freud, of all people, was named Edward Bernays. Who he was ultimately serving, what his vision for society was, was that the masses would be manipulated by the corporate elite for economic benefit. It's about creating situations that leave consumers no choice but to act in certain ways that benefit these corporations, companies, and politicians. If you associate a purchase or an object or anything in your life with a feeling, ask yourself, where does that feeling come from? Is it truly your own or did it come from somewhere else, somewhere that possibly was designed and manipulated to make you feel that way? 